the Hellfest Heavy Metal Festival, one of the biggest in Europe, took place this year under the scorching sun of Clisson, a small village just south of Nantes. Every year, thousands of fans of all heavy metal subgenres gather for three days of what may be described as heavy sound therapy near this quiet French village. Or as one of Hellfest's regulars describes it, people from all social backgrounds mix here in a perfect childlike harmony at this festival with a rebellious soul. Rebellious, yes, says another regular, but also really quite laid back. I like the relaxed atmosphere, where everyone has fun the way he wants. The good mood amongst all the festival goers, people are laid back. You may talk to anyone without any problem. Everyone's respectful and in solidarity with each other. And what is the spirit of Hellfest for you? Most of all, it's having all these guys and girls around with their totally extravagant looks, and you can go to anyone in the crowd who are all similar at the end of the day. And that's great. You meet new people, meet new groups. It's a great bubble of liberty, in fact. Three days of liberty with no scheduled constraints. You live as you want and do whatever you want. So you're coming back next year, Yannick? It's a done deal, mate. In 12 years, Hellfest has grown from a small local event into a full-scale international festival. A three-day avalanche of non-stop hard and heavy music from bands from all over the world. The oldies of the rock scene, such as Blue Oyster Cult, Aerosmith and Deep Purple, get on stage along with some younger groups, such as the French black metal band Regarde les Hommes Tombés.